Good to have you with us here on CTV News Channel. I'm Todd Vander Hayden. The Trudeau government not doing that well in political polls these days. The prime minister has been in power for eight years and counting. Sometimes a change to the top players on a team can be seen as a way to refresh things. Senior government sources telling CTV News about a possible cabinet shuffle could happen on Wednesday. We can also tell you that the prime minister is meeting with senior members of his team. Cabinet ministers today in Ottawa, some of them have been recalled to the Capitol. Let's bring in Dwayne Bratt, who is a political commentator with Mount Royal University in Calgary. Your take, Dwayne, on what we might see here. Oh, I think we're looking at not a minor little move, but a, a major uh, cabinet shuffle. You're roughly two years after the last election, two, at least two years prior to the next election. This provides a good opportunity for a reset for removing some poorly uh, performing ministers, or at least getting them out of the danger area uh, from one portfolio to another. Yeah, and uh, we are thinking, and there's a lot of speculation about Marco Mendicino, as you know, the public safety minister who uh, has received a lot of fire over the handling, or as critics would say, mishandling of the Paul Bernardo file, one of Canada's most notorious serial killers. Uh, who, who do you think might be up for a demotion or perhaps a promotion, Dwayne? Well, I think uh, Mendicino is, a, is probably at the top of the list to be shuffled out of that portfolio. Whether he's completely shuffled out of cabinet, we'll have to see. I think Ahmed Hussein, uh, the housing minister, is, is another one. Um, and someone who may get moved because he's been doing well would be Seamus O'Regan. Um, who I think effectively handled uh, the Vancouver uh, port strike, also dealt with the CN rail strike, uh, and in previous portfolios in natural resources was, was well uh, respected across the, the provinces and, and industry. So I think uh, O'Regan is, is a person that could get moved, but for, for good reasons. I'm very curious about Christia Freeland. Uh, I think they need a different finance minister in there. Um, someone like Dominic LeBlanc has, has been touted, but that would be an even bigger shift to do that. I'm also wondering about how much of a difference a cabinet shuffle actually makes, politically speaking. I mean, you know, commentators, we in the media, we follow this. But for people out there who are going to be voting in the next federal election, we talked about how long the prime minister has been in power. You, know, you change the team a little bit, but is it is it or does it risk becoming simply kind of inside baseball political window dressing? Some some of that does apply, but what an opportunity of a of a shuffle allows is a change in policy direction as well, um, and so. Um, I think that is one of the usefulnesses of this. And it's a way of, of assembling a brand new team uh, in the lead up to, to the next election. So some of it is window dressing. There, there's accusations that, uh, you know, the PMO is in control of everything and ministers are, are much weaker. I don't think that's the case. I think ministers have a lot of latitude and we see some that rise and, and some that uh, really struggle. Dwayne Bratt joining us from Calgary with his read on this uh, potential cabinet shuffle on Wednesday. Good to see you, Dwayne.